the World Economic Forum is now looking to reduce ownership of private vehicles. Yes, the forum is claiming that this is a way to reduce global reliance on critical metals like cobalt and lithium as they make a push toward green energy. Digging, give up your car, why don't you? Yeah, the World Economic Forum sponsors that little get-together, that boondoggle in Davos every year. Why do major private CEOs even go to that thing? If this, these are the policies that the World Economic Forum are espousing. They're essentially saying, trying to take away your free will. Oh, you can't drive a car. And again, trying to apply uh, the ideas out of Europe onto the United States. Europe has a lot of mass transit. It's a very small continent. And North America, not so much. So stick that idea where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> Well, I have gone to Davos for 20 years for the World Economic Forum, and it's always been an incredible opportunity to hobnob with the leaders of the world. It is incredibly well attended every right. year. Uh, so for some reason, everybody's getting together globally. It has been the place that all of these people meet every year. You're right. Leo, but your <laughs> thoughts on the ideas of going green and taking away your private vehicle? Well, obviously, when we think about the history of motor vehicles, cars and other transportation, it has lifted millions, hundreds of millions of people out of poverty and has changed the dynamic of how we all live and the quality of our lives. So yes, while we all want a clean economy and we want a, uh, you know, a climate that is sustainable, the reality is that a collapsing economy isn't the answer. So there has to be a balance and unfortunately in today's bifurcated world, we get a little bit too much extremism. So hopefully we can bring some sense back into it. Yeah, by the way, those CEOs that go to Davos, many of them, they go on their own private jet.